So while the Wildlife Brothers are behind me filming a segment on bluets, another trademark species of pine barrens, I came across this beautiful northern water snake, which is Neurodiscipidin. And this, this species is always mistaken for moccasins, sometimes copperheads. It's not a moccasin, I know I say it all the time, but it's because it's not. Um, this is a, an aquatic species, it, you know, it's terrestrial, but it does a lot of its food procuring in the water because these like to eat fish and frogs and, you know, that type of stuff. But they will take out a mouse and stuff now and then. It's a beautiful snake. When I saw it, it was going across the path heading into the water. So I quickly reached down and picked it up, you know, not in the gentlest manner as I normally pick things up. And uh, it tagged me once, you know, anticoagulants, so I was bleeding a bunch. But I do not suggest the handling of wildlife by any means. But as I say all the time, this is what I do for a living. You know, I'm quite experienced and I know how to do so without harming it. I'm holding this snake with two hands. I'm not just holding it by a tip of its tail or with one hand here because it's not comfortable for the snake. But you've seen one water snake, you've seen a hundred, especially on my channel. But here you go, beautiful Neurodia sipidin. I'm gonna show you a couple of close-up shots of the beautiful iridescence on its ventral scales, um, which is common among snakes. Snakes are not slimy. They're often just iridescent and that makes them look reflective. They feel like glass when you touch some of the species, especially the Hondurans.